a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel the Edo State Government, Governor Godwin Obaseki, on Thursday, met with the NBAD Governor's protesters, promised to convey their message to President Bola Metinobu. But guys, before I could carry the full story, I could not go anywhere, I could not relax. I could give one the full details. But I would like to welcome on our first to my wonderful channel, Reality at SGC, home of news and politics. Thank you so much for joining us. But if today now your first time to join our wonderful channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video to all amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. So guys, let's proceed. The protest which rocked the entire Benin city saw business owners staying off their ship, apparently over fear of being invaded and looted by the protesters. The wicked protesters. Also, commercial activities and vehicle movement around Benin Metropolis in Edo State were on Thursday granted as residents took to various roads in solidarity with the 10 days nationwide protest, tag, and bad governance and hunger. Protesters in their numbers blocked many major roads and streets in the city in protest of bad governance and hike in food stuff across the country. The areas where roads were blocking Benin City was Uselu Ubawa Uluku section of the Bini Sagamu Express, Bini Agbo Asaba Road, Bini Saple Road, Ekewa Buyoko Road, Opa Sabomba Road, Siloko Ego Road, among others. So commercial bus and other public places such as malls, supermarkets and fresh station were all under lock and keys in the city center. So a visit to the Edo State Civil Service Secretariat and the State House of Assembly shows that the public institution were also closed. Everybody they fear. Meanwhile, protesters under a coalition of civil society organizations occupied the King Square, popularly known as Ring Road in Benin City, for the protest. The protesters arrived at the place, which was the only place designated by the police, as early as 7.30. Members of the coalition erected a podlum and musical instrument as a way of expressing their grievances. Men of Edo State Police Command were also at the venue to monitor and provide the necessary security protection. So it was a combined team of the Nigeria Army, policemen, and an armed squad of the Nigeria Correction Center, stationed at the Correction Center along Sapler Road. Officials of the Department of the State Service were also deployed to corporate headquarters of the Benin Electricity Distribution Company and the Central Bank of Nigeria. Also at the Edo State House of Assembly, armored personnel vehicles and detachments of policemen were stationed at the entrance gates and entrance. The Commissioner of Police in Edo, Fushu Adewe, commended the protesters for their peaceful conduct. He addressed the protesters at the King Square, where he said he was impressed by the way the protesters peacefully conducted themselves, so he urged them to sustain it. The Commission of Police distributed water snacks to the protesters in appreciation of their peaceful conduct. However, at Upper Ikema Road by Buyoko Quarters, the protesters who brandished placard with various descriptions were burning tires on the road while others engaged in football activities had they ever busy the Ikema Road. Some of the women protesters were busy cooking rice and other delicacies on the road. So I people, it was indeed a peaceful conduct. Honestly, but notwithstanding, the Edo State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, also met with the NBAD governance protesters, promised to convey their message to President Bola Metinobo. Angry Nigerians had comments in nationwide protests to register their grievances over the difficult living condition arising from various policies that have been implemented by the federal government. So receiving the protesters at the Ring Road in Benin City, Governor Godwin Obaseki, who was aware of the pain and suffering faced by the Edo people and all Nigerians, promised to convey their demand to President Bola Metunobo. Hey, I will up small water. He also addressed protesters at the Secretary's building on Sapli Road, as well as those who converge at the government has been in city. So why assuring the protesters of adequate security? Governor Godwin Obaseki urged them to be peaceful and orderly, ensuring that hoodlums and miscreants do not hijack the protest to actualize their devious plan to loot and cause mayhem in Edo State. He said as a governor, he knows that they are not happy, they are angry, and they are hungry. That he is here to let them know that any message they have for him, he will take it to Abuja to give to President Bola Metinobo. That the level of hunger is high 
and he will take their message to Abuja. Come on, God, no person can say that. He has seen the description on the placard that they are telling President Bola Metunubu that he should reduce fuel prices. That he's going to let President Bola Metunubu know. He also saw on their placard that unionists are causing a rise in fuel prices. So, come on, God, no person can say that. They should let him know those who are troubling them that they will be arrested. And they will work to ensure that food prices come down, that they will disband agueros and stop the activities on the road. But they say they should fix federal road and reduce electricity tariff. That he will take that to Abuja for the president to address. And he will bring school fees down in Edo State. So he don't need the federal government on that. Governor Godin Obasik said he have heard all their complaints that they demanded a things. Or he wants to assure them that he will handle three by himself and he will take the other five to Abuja. That school fees in Aguero will be reduced in Edo State. But for the price of wear and cement, he said that is for President Bola Metunobu to handle. <laughs> so he's going to convey the message to President Bola Metunobu. Comedian Francis Agodo, popularly known as Agodai, who was part of the protesters, encouraged other protesters to be law abiding while protesting against the bad governors in the country. So he urged the protesters to protect government properties while carrying out the protest. He said they are not happy as they are all hungry and angry about the bad governors in the country. He said, but as they protest to drive home of their demand, let them respect and protect government properties across the state and nation. You can say, go bad, say you they protest for bad governance and you they destroy your own properties. So we say, government no will come do for you. So, honestly, the Edo State protest was peaceful and a lot of security was deployed to different locations to make sure the lives and properties of Edo people are intact. The commission of police was among the protests, so it was a peaceful protest indeed. Because peaceful protest is a powerful tool for driving change by uniting and exercising our right to peaceful assembly. So, as they send a strong message to the government to address the pressing issue of bad governance and harmful policies, so let them come together to demand a better future for the country and their citizens. Their collective voice can bring about positive change and prompt the government to take necessary actions. So President Bola Metunobu should listen to the protesters. He should address the nation on fuel prices. Because if fuel prices should go down, every other thing will follow. Because at the price of fuel, they affect every other thing in this country. So right now, price and fuel are the major problem. <laughs> the rest are secondary needs. But the question why they ask we say why the government has not yet addressed a single problem out of the five fundamental issues the protesters are in need of. At least if we have a strong government by now, they should have addressed fuel shortages and price back to 170, reshuffle cabinet, food prices insecurity, and many other things. <laughs> this protest for no comments. So they should develop Nigeria with Nigerian natural resources. Or oh, as the protest will continue. So I guess I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in our comment section. I would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of this segment. Till I come your witness. Stay safe, guys.